Zombie Heads here with another Share Factory tutorial, and this is on pan and zoom. Now we can finally pan and zoom in videos. Why would you want to pan and zoom in a video? Well, I made a whole bunch of examples here. We're going to go over them, and then afterwards I'll show you how to do a couple tips and tricks. But uh, I hope you like the things I did, and as always, I'm doing this to hopefully encourage you guys to up your game if we all want to be awesome gamer uploaders. So let's start right here. All right, this is a perfect example. This is the game for honor. As you can see here, I'm going to kick this big old guy into the pit. And there he goes off to the right of the screen. Very small. You know, you could you could probably miss that if you're just watching a normal video. But if you want to highlight stuff and highlight your gameplay, this is what you can do. This is that same clip, except I used Share Factory to doctor it up a little bit. Now watch, it'll be uh, same thing, but real nice and big, right in your face, right? That's the money shot right there. So if you do want to highlight some things in your gameplay, this is why you want to use pan and zoom. All right, now let's look at the next clip I made here. So here we are in the game Warframe. I'm going to jump up and I'm going to shoot this guy midair with some really freaking awesome skills. Now if you have awesome skills too and you want to highlight something like that, see how small that guy is and how easy it is to miss if you're trying to highlight something. So here's the clip that I doctored up, same exact clip with a little bit of a pan and zoom here jump right in your face money shot hard to miss that one when you put it right in your face now one thing I'm gonna tell you just real quick when you do zoom in like this this is 175 percent you're gonna lose a lot of image quality in your videos but I think for like a, a split second this is like a second long zoom I don't really think it's gonna matter too much you know it's still gonna be I think the the uh, the quality of your video is gonna outweigh the actual loss in, in uh, resolution now here we go Guy in a ladder falls in, really easy to miss. This is a game for honor again. Guy screwing around a ladder, really cool trick, you know, shoot him off the ladder. I bet he had no idea that was coming. Now here's uh, some things I consider in this video. The, the background is really dark for one. The guy's really small. So I added a zoom, uh, all right? So as soon as I aim on him, it zooms in. So there you go. See, he's uh, right in the center of the screen, a lot bigger than before. And I added time bender, this little purple clip right here. So he falls down and it zooms in on him as he falls down. All right, right, right here, original clip. Okay, you know, not too bad, but I think it looks a lot better with a little bit of a pan and zoom here. All right, so on to the next clip here. This one is sort of, uh, I'm gonna get a little bit more creative here. So here's the uh, original clip, fighting this guy here. I'm going to kick him in the moat, you know, like like that's all I do in this game, right? So that's the uh, first clip right there. This is what I did with a little bit of a zoom. Say you want to really highlight the part where I stabbed him in the kidneys right there. Oh, right before I kicked him off to his drowning death. Okay, now you want to get a little more creative. This is why I added a little bit more in this clip here. All right, we're, we're thirsty for blood. We want to show some blood. Oh, so I added a little bit of red. All right, guys, so, you know, feel free to play around with filters and things. You can, Don't forget, you can zoom in and add filters and other effects. Add stickers, whatever the heck you want on top of it. All right, so here we are playing Dark Souls 2, right? Here's another example of a way that you can use pan and zoom. Walking around. This is during a live stream, right? Totally unexpected. Didn't see that. Normal clip right here. Okay. Doctored up a little bit. Same exact clip here, but if you really want to be, like, absurd... I went to art school for graphic design. They always said, come up with an absurd idea. Well, there you go. All right. You died. Super huge, right? Yeah, you know, just something something to think about. You can really zoom in on this. There you go. You died. Like, huh. No surprise when I play. So here we are, just a normal clip. I wanted to edit it a little bit to create a little bit more excitement. Maybe zoom in a few times for some of those hits, like right there where he blocked my attack. Um, this is just a normal clip, and here's what I did where I uh, zoomed in and out a few times, trying to make it look a little bit more cooler. You know, I'm just trying to encourage you guys to use this new feature and try and, I don't know, create something awesome. More awesome than I did here, at least. <laughs> so there you go, okay? Zooming in and out for different hits might make it a little more exciting. Here's something where uh, I got slashed in the neck by this nice Viking woman. Start of a duel right there. Oh, see the blood come out? Okay, so uh, this is another one where I added a little bit of a slow motion effect. Same clip right here. Zoom in in slow motion for that blood gushing out of my jugular vein. 
I thought it was pretty cool. So that's why I did that one. All right, just remember whenever you slow it down, the sound gets slowed down with it. All right, here's, uh, like I said, I'm always just tossing people in the pits and for honor. All right, so here's one here, another little concept I had. Normal clip right there. Okay, so this one here, I zoomed in a few times with slow motion. This one is going to be zoomed in slow motion. This is going to be even more zoomed in in slow motion still. Let's check it out. And there you go, back to normal, uh, whatever you call it, the original, the original size of the video. All right, came running through there. Oh, money shots all day. <laughs> all right, next clip here. Um, this is basically the end of my little um, experiments, but uh, this is the game Warframe again, fighting one of the bosses here on a sortie mission. This is a normal gameplay. I really love Warframe, but I hate editing it in Share Factory because it looks like crap a lot of times. But there you go, that's a normal thing right there. Okay, this is the boss. I, I put it in slow motion. Basically, I'm zoomed out to begin with. So whenever I, or I'm zoomed in, so whenever I zoom out right here, it looks like, uh, uh, I, I, you know, I don't even know how to explain it. Zoomed in, whenever I was trying to go for an effect wherever I shot, it sort of like, zoomed out and exploded and then zoomed back into the original size I had it. All right, everybody ready for me to shut up and get to the tutorial so you can do your own stuff? All right, I'm gonna show you how this works, but first thing first, this right here is exactly as much as this share factory can handle with all these splits. So just so you know, before we get into anything too huge, see, uh, I can't even do some features because I've used up all the share factory features. Look, can't even, can't even do it. The project limit uh, has been reached. So we're going to erase a bunch of clips here so that I can show you how to do this tutorial. This is actually the first clip that I did for this tutorial. So let's recreate this one. It's really easy. Um, first thing I really suggest, if you're going to do anything and you have a clip, hit square. Go over here and clone the clip. It's basically like a, a copy and paste it right after it. That way if you screw this one up, you can just erase everything and go back to what you did. Alright, so here's what you do. I'm basically using the D-pad now to find where I want to do my highlights, where I'm going to want to split these clips. So we're going to want to do this one here, maybe right where we kicked them. So you're going to hit the square, we're going to go over here, split this clip right here, and we're going to go over to right about where it falls in. Now watch for the bottom left corner, you can't split unless a clip less than a second. So as soon as that highlights right there, see it light up? This is the frame we're going to split it at right here. And now we're going to go back to before this, and we're going to split it one second before that kick. Uh, maybe we'll go a little bit, a little bit more in a second. All right, right about here. We're going to split this clip. Okay, and I'm hitting circle to get back to the the uh, regular tool menu. All right, here's how you pan and zoom. I'm going to hit the square right here. You go right over here to pan and zoom. Here is what you do. Look how look how far you can go. It's to 300%. And I'm telling you, 300% is gonna look like crap, crappy resolution. But all right, we're gonna start off. We're gonna go maybe um oh I don't know 125. I'm gonna press up. The left joystick goes for zoom. The right joystick is the pan. See, because once you zoom in, you can actually move the screen around a little bit. So we're gonna hit X right here to confirm that. So we enlarge it to 125, and we also panned it so that it's right in the center of the screen still. All right, and now for this one here, I'm going to hit square. I'm going to pan and zoom. I'm going to come into 125 about where we had it. This time, I'm going to give it, so I have it all the way to the right so that whenever this guy falls in, you know, this is going to be, uh, it's. He's on the right side of the screen already, but this will be at least where he's going to be, uh, not going to be missed. If you have it over here in the center of the screen, he's just going to fall off even sooner than I did in the original clip. So we're going to do it right here. Okay, let's watch it. Pretty easy, right? Now get started. <laughs> now, if you do want to watch any more, I'll show you a couple more little things I did here. I'm going to go into a little bit more in depth. Let's go on a little bit further ahead here. So here we are in the ladder clip. It's pretty easy to do, just a little bit more involved because we're adding some slow motion. 
I'm going to show you guys how to recreate something like this right now. Now, I took into account that there's a really dark background and what was going on on the ladder was pretty far away and if, I thought it would be something a lot cool, cooler to do if you zoomed in and use a little bit of this uh, new uh, share factory feature. So I actually chose to split it originally right here because there's a little bit of a noise here. Sometimes when you do these transitions, it can look a little goofy if you zoom in and, and you off-center your clip a little bit because what happens is that, um, I'm going to split it right here. Because what happens is uh, you'll see your guy's in the center and then all of a sudden he's off to the side a little bit. So I chose a little bit of noise like interference here right here to pick my split. And then I wanted to end it whenever, like about right when he ended, but right before that pops up, the uh, the three more to win message right there. So it's, that's a little bit of a distraction too. Alright, so I'm going to split this one right here. Alright, so this is our slow motion block. Now let's get to right about wherever we're going to shoot them. This one here is just going to be a, a basic, simple zoom right into the middle of the screen. All right. So pan. Oh, let's hit uh, circle one more time. Make sure you always get back to your original tool toolkit here. All right. So we're going to pan and zoom this right here. I don't remember when I made that one. Let's go with uh, like 135. I think once you get over 125, though, it gets a little grainy. Okay. So we have right here. Zoom in, pow, right in the back, okay, into the pity goes. So now we're going to add the same thing here. Go to pan and zoom. I'm going to go into 135. Oh, who cares, guys? Let's go 140, whatever. I'm going to hit down. I'm going to hit to the right because I wanted uh, that guy there, whenever he falls, I wanted it to be in the center of the screen. And since he fell off on the um, bottom right, if you put the, the pan to the bottom right, it sort of centers him up. See, so he's more like in the middle, middle of the screen there, whenever he falls down. All right, so here we go. We're going to add Time Bender right here. So you hit your square. You're going to go to all the way left, top left, Time Bender. Uh, let's do half speed and step. All right, let's check it out right here. All right, nice. See, we're getting somewhere. All right, well, so you want to see another one, how I did another one of these? Uh, these videos only um, come out maybe once in a while whenever Share Factory updates. So, uh, you know, if you want to subscribe, appreciate it. You know, always try and highlight these new features and things I like to do that I think, um, the, you know, I actually use Sony Vegas, but stuff like this, I mean, pretty soon, who needs Sony Vegas? Why buy an actual product whenever you can do it all on your PlayStation? Okay, let's show you how to just add a little effect. It's really easy. All right, so right here, I picked a spot where I want to zoom in. Oh, right there, right at the beginning. Right there. All right, we're going to split this clip right here. We're going to go to right about where we kick them. Okay, we're going to go back, hit circle, get back to our toolbox. Zoom in first. Oops, way too much. Oh, heck, let's, let's just be a little ridiculous here. Let's do 140. I'm going to hit straight down. See how they're in the center? You don't want to go left to right because it'll make it, a little, make it look a little goofy. So go straight down. Okay, so they're right in the center of the screen. All right, we're going to confirm that. And now we're going to hit the uh, X right there to add. We're going to come here to add a filter. I use red. All right, uh, let's just use red again. You guys feel free to get a little creative, do whatever you want. You can edit that a little bit, say we want to tone it down, say we don't want to be that bloody. Hit the square, come down here to edit filter, filter settings. You can come down here and tone it down a little bit. How about that? Just a hint of red. Okay, we're going to confirm it right here. And let's check out our new kidney stab animation. All right, so how about that? Pretty easy stuff. I hope you guys like to get a little creative. This here was so easy right here. I don't even think I need to show you. Now that we know what we're doing, I'll just show you what I did. Pan and zoom. Center of the screen, 259%. Oh my God. I just clipped it right, right in the beginning and right at the end of that You Died animation. All right, so here we are with this zoom in and slow motion effect. This one's actually a little bit more tricky. Now, if you really want to keep it slow motion, this is exactly as as short as it'll make a slow motion clip right there. 
with the Zoom. Okay, now this is what you have to do. Sometimes you have to sort of outsmart the Share Factory program. All right, let's find where we're going to break it right here. I did it right about here where the blood first came out. Okay, so right where it came out is where I first split it. So we're going to hit this square right here, come over, split the clip, hit X. We're going to split it right here. Now this one right here, the first thing I did was I went and I went to pan and zoom. Let's zoom into about, oh, I don't know, let's make it 140. All right, now we add the time bender. I made it 1 8th, really, really slow. All right, so here's what I did here. I actually, uh, you wanna highlight this so you can see right exactly where you can split it. So you're gonna hit your square, come over to split clip. Now watch the very bottom left, very bump. See, as soon as you see it right there, or maybe you want to go one frame after to or two, you know, so you get all that blood there. But see, when you slow it down, it actually lets you split the clip a little bit different than if you're splitting it at normal speed. So right now, let's let's just say we go right here. See how I'm going left and right? It's really not even moving much because it's it's such slow motion. So let's split it right here. Confirm. I'm going to come over here now. I'm going to hit circle so I get back to the the menu. I'm going to come back to time bender. I'm going to make it exactly normal speed. All right, and then uh, this is what you're looking at right here. See, see, that's how you. Ha if you really want to split something small and minute, you have to actually slow it down, time bender first, then split it. Okay, and then if you want to get back to the exact exact size uh, that you had before you did the pan zoom, come over here uh, because when you split the clips, it still stays at 140. All I, all I have to, even, even if you had it all the way over here, just hit left all the way and don't touch anything right there. Back to exactly uh, what it was before you even messed, it, messed with it. Hit X to confirm it. Here we go. Check this out right here. See, so sometimes you have to outsmart the program itself, but I hope that uh, I'm just going to quit here and let you guys get off and do your thing, start messing around with it. Really appreciate appreciate it. If I helped you out, you hit a like. You know, share the video with somebody who really could use some tips and tricks. Everybody, we're all trying to fight for being the top, top gamer uploader on YouTube or wherever else you like to share your videos. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to I'm not gonna go out being the only guy with knowledge. Hope everybody else got some tips and, and uh, creativity out of this. Get inspired. All right, everybody. Um, I guess that's it. Have fun and we'll catch you in another video.